Welcome to the NCAA 25 National Signing Day Tournament Recap. We're going to look back on the Elite Eight and see how the teams that made it to the Final Four got to the Final Four. Now, starting with Alabama, we're going to go in and we're going to see that it was a good game. Still trying to get that option out, but sometimes the computer is just going to run it to run it. And yeah, this game was pretty much that. Like, <clears throat> they didn't really pass too much. Couldn't get really much going in the passing game. But the, they pretty much were able to run on the ground all over them. And uh, say Julian Sane didn't turn the ball over. And they just, yeah, as you can see, Kevin Riley just ran it down their throats. And it was a pretty good day for him. And for the offensive line, they couldn't really pass block too well, and but they didn't really need to pass too much. So, as you can see, the score, 31-10, it was a pretty much the Alabama defense held up, and their corners were able to keep the wide receivers at bay. And as you can see, the defense, the defensive line got in there. And was able to get to the quarterback, cause some fumble, fumble return for a touchdown. So, all in all, a good day for Bama. You know, like, uh, some things change and then some things never change. So, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. And, yeah, as you can see, pretty much ran through them. If that wide receiver would have got a little push on the block in there, could have been a touchdown. But yeah, as you can see, all the highlights are pretty much for Bama. So you can tell how that game went. Next up, we have Miami and NC State. And this one, Miami just pretty much outclassed. They just had too much talent overall. And... NC State just couldn't keep up. Once Miami jumped out ahead, then it was an uphill battle that they just couldn't get enough points to... They just couldn't get enough points to catch up, and Miami's defense was just that much stronger, so it was what it was. NC State didn't really play bad, I would say, but Miami just played that much better. Just, as you can see, too much talent. Now it's pretty much just going to come down to... Alabama and Miami in the final four on one side. And then we have Georgia against Kentucky. In, at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, so... You could tell Georgia had some struggles. And they had opportunities to win it late. They had two opportunities to go ahead, actually. And got it down to the three-yard line, three, two, three-yard line. And I thought they probably, you know, with their run game and their line, they should have took a ch chance uh, running the ball. But... I mean, give credit to Kentucky. They battled and battled and battled. And this was the go-ahead score. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. That This was the go-ahead score here. And you can see the convoy into the <laughs> touch, into the end zone. So, um, yeah, I mean... Kentucky really has a lot of team speed, so it really bothered Georgia a bit, but Georgia wasted opportunities. Unlike this game where Oregon and Mississippi State, they just had a barn fest, what is it, a barn burner, shootout, whatever you want to call it, politically correct, politically incorrect. Yeah, it was a shootout and a half, like bombs were being dropped over, and this was like World War Three almost. Just bombs after bombs after bombs. You can see one there. 
another one here. This, yeah. I mean, I think he had six TDs, so, you know. And then, yeah, you can see Mississippi firing back. They weren't going to give up, and it pretty much came, it went into overtime, so. I think it was, like, what, triple overtime? Yeah, triple overtime. So, both of these teams really wanted in, and, you know, Oregon, they really came through after. And now this ends our highlights and our recap. So tune in for more action. Thank you.